Our guests tonight are two of the eight funniest people in the world. They have a friendship that spans over 30 years and a new comedy special called An Evening You Will Forget for the Rest of Your Life. Let me just say, Steve, <laughs> truthfully, what, it, what an honor it is for me to be standing next to a man who is a novelist, a playwright, a musician, a composer, and a legendary comedian. And let me say what an honor it is for me to be standing next to the man who is standing next to that man. <laughs> you know, Steve, of all the people that I have a fake show business relationship with, I feel <laughs> fake closest to you. Aw, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, And Evening You Will Forget for the Rest of Your Life is on Netflix, and you can see them live June 29th in Sacramento, July 1st in Las Vegas, and July 6th in Bend, Oregon. Please welcome the two and only Steve Martin and Martin Short. You've heard of a standing O. Yes. Yeah. It was a standing M. They were sort of up and then down over there. And then up. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's very, 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 very exciting and a great honor to have both of you here. I really, I, uh, it's, I really look forward to letting you down. That's, uh, <laughs> Marty, you've been here. How many times have you been here? I've been here. I don't know, 15 maybe. 15 times. Yeah. Steve, this is your first My visit. first time. And yeah. I'm, I tell you, I'm excited to be on the show because I didn't even know you had a show. <laughs> so <laughs> I come out and there you are, and I'm excited. And it's, let me say something. Yes, go ahead, Marty. Yes. <laughs> No, really, you look fantastic. Thank you so much. No, you really do. That that just for men beard dye. I didn't know it came in that color. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, by the way, since we're uh, talking about uh, manscaping, I have a new technique for trimming my nose hairs. What is it? I just take a deep whiff of Marty's cologne. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which. Someone got Febreze for Father's Day. Okay. No, but you look, really, you, you, you have the sex appeal of a middle-aged Rudy Giuliani. Really... I will take that as a great compliment. The last compliment. time I was here, you looked, you were disheveled. I was, you, really? Oh, oh, my God. You smiled and a hunk of makeup fell off. It was shocking. That wasn't makeup. Yeah, the, 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 it was leprosy. No, no, two of the, two of the queer guys looked like they had just stormed out in mid-revival. Mid, mid the revival. queer guys? What queer guys? <laughs> Queer, queer oh, with eye. the eyes. Queer <laughs> eye. Queer eye guys. Yeah, they're not the <laughs> queer just, guys. <laughs> you know? Thank you. <laughs> I abbreviate the queer yeah, eye guys. Yeah, yeah. He's from Canada. He doesn't yeah. know how it all works. Yeah. But, <laughs> but thank guys. you for offending half the nation. That's not really happening. So but I guys. think Jimmy is quite a handsome man. And I, I mean that because, you know, you, ha you have a good look and it's also have these wonderful childbearing hips. <laughs> 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 We, uh, we, you know, I've always wanted to meet you. You, not as much, but I was also excited to meet you. But, um, Steve, we met, uh, for the first time, uh, in October, I believe. Yes. At the Jimmy was saying that he met you for the first time <laughs> in October. Do you remember meeting him? Yes, I do have a good time. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I, we met in October. I remember. At the Mark Twain the Prize. Mark Twain for David honoring Letterman. David Letterman. That's yep. right. We all honor David Letterman. That's and it correct. was a great night. And I was very excited to be there. And I had been there the year before honoring Bill Murray. Wow. Thanks. Yeah. So. <laughs> what a life you've led. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I learned that night, I learned that after the show was over around 9 o'clock, there was nothing to do. It was like Sunday night in Washington, D.C., and there was nothing to do. So this time I Does thought... Does this go on? Uh, it goes on for a while. <laughs> <laughs> you're in the story. I, I'm in the story. Yeah, okay, you're in the yeah. story. <laughs> so I thought, here's what I'll do. I'll rent a room at a bar. There was a bar called Madam <laughs> Organs. I'll rent a private room, and then maybe, just maybe, Martin Short and Steve Martin... <laughs> I knew Dave wasn't coming. No. But would I was excited to go to that party because I thought that's what I'm looking for, a nice, quiet little place to hang out uh, you know, right. after the show. Right. Bill it, Murray uh, was with us. We were yeah. in the car. Right. It was uh, Bill Murray, you and your wife, Anne, mm -hmm. my wife, Molly, and uh, another friend, and we're driving to the event, and the phone rings. Do you remember what Well, happened? first of yes. all, let me just say, the phone yes. rang because Tom Hanks was also in Washington, not doing the Mark Twain, but he was happening in Washington, and I, we had spoken, and I said, hey, Jimmy is having a big party. Why don't you go to it? Hey, next time you mind uh, running that by me, because I... <laughs> no, you'd, you'd like it. You'd like it. Tom Hank. A lot of people use the S, but not hip one. And so anyway, he had, so he had gotten to the party early, and he phoned me and said, this is the worst, loudest, stupidest place. No, no, not yet. Oh. He's saying to me, oh, okay. this is oh. the stupid, it's so loud, it's horrible. I stayed there one minute and I ran out. And I said, well, why don't you go back to the Four Seasons, go to the bar, I'll phone Steve. Steve will hate that, too. <laughs> so then I phoned Steve. And so I'm in the car and uh, I put it on speaker. Yes. And I hear Marty say... Don't go to that party. It's the worst, ev evidently, it's the loudest, worst place you could ever be. Jimmy's two feet from me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. And, and I say, Jimmy, he, he knows. <laughs> he knows you're in the car. It's so funny. <laughs> and Jimmy went, no, he doesn't. He doesn't no, he doesn't. Know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was, and then we, you got, you went back and you went to Marty ruined my party, and I'll tell you. A little and we had a much hit. No, I party. think you ruined your party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, afterwards, I was planning to get revenge. You had Flo and Rob Kardashian. We had, you know, Eddie Vedder. <laughs> you did have Eddie Vedder, yeah. but I was. Yeah, I planning... wish I knew what you guys were talking about. <laughs> anyway, <go ahead. laughs> you know. I don't know if you're invited to it, but Marty has a Christmas party each year. Yes? Yes. So I was planning <laughs> to hold a special VIP party. I was going to set up a tent in Marty's backyard and invite everyone <laughs> to that tent except for Marty in his own backyard. And me. No, you would have been invited oh. to it. You were an innocent victim. Well, I turned all down this. the party, too. All right, you're not no. invited next year either. Yeah. Anyway, Marty canceled his Christmas party, and my plan was for naught. But... Anyway, it was By nice. the way, are you throwing any other parties that we don't want to go to? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I saw the uh, Ted Cruz thing, and I thought it was interesting. First, you raised so much money for charity, so that makes you two good guys. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I think... I think, actually, that Ted Cruz really likes you, because I noticed that every time he would look at you, he would wag his tail. <laughs> But I, yeah, it was quite an outcome, though. You must admit, it was, I mean, even Donald Trump and Stormy Daniels said, well, now that's a spanking. <laughs> Congratulations on making it to the end of a YouTube video. Why not celebrate by clicking the subscribe button? You earned it.